Joining me now, Shadow Veterans Affairs Minister, Barnaby Joyce. Well, thank you, Barnaby, for your time. This group of teachers, they've got a 40-page document. Worryingly, they're involved with hundreds of schools across Australia. So we, we can't just dismiss this as fringe nonsense anymore, can we? No, we can't. And they've gone out of their way to actually make sure that this makes the, uh, the, the national news. So we, we have to deal with it. This group, uh, teachers and staff for Palestinians, and I'm sure there's a lot of people on the Palestinian issue who would be furious beyond belief that they have been sullied by being dragged into such a ridiculous position, such a contemptible position, that we would attack Anzac Day. Anzac Day is about the families of honour and all Australians who reflect and commemorate and say thank you to those who have offered their lives for the protection of our nation. Those who died, those who got maimed, those who were psychologically disturbed, those marriages and relationships that broke up because people are away, those careers that are lost. There is so much of a sacrifice that is part and parcel of the reason we have these liberties, these freedoms that allow the so-called Palestinian and staff or you know, teachers and staff for Palestinians to go into the paper and say what they do. In another nation, they'd probably uh, be in all sorts of strife, wouldn't they? But but we have protected their right, yet I think it comes to a form of quid pro quo. And what they are doing is dismantling the, the, one of the, the, I would say, the centre of the Australian psyche. And, they, and, they, and if we don't jump on it straight away, they'll get away with it, just like they do with the trying to get rid of Australia Day, just like they do trying to get rid of Christianity, just like they do trying to, piece by piece, um, disarticulate Australia from what it was to turn it into what they wish it to be. Yeah, but the fish rots from the head, Barnaby. I mean, you know, these are a group of activist teachers, but you've got the Prime Minister who has changed policy in Canberra to allow 350,000-odd public servants to say, look, I don't want to commemorate war, I want nothing to do with Anzac Day, I'll take, uh, you know, a Tuesday off in a few months' time and I'll mm. work Anzac Day. Now, I think you're the first one to, to jump on this issue. We saw it with Australia Day. God help us, if we're now in the position where public servants at a Commonwealth level don't observe Anzac Day, well, why would anyone? That's the problem that the Prime Minister's uh, signal and message that's being sent out. Well, you're dead right, Peter. I mean, they've said, oh, well, you brought it about. We found the mistake and corrected it. They are very aware of this, this issue and they go on with it. So therefore they condone it. That means, because Anzac Day is on a Thursday, we'll have a lot of people say, well, I'll work Anzac Day, even though I don't have to. I'm not with the RSL, I'm not a doctor or a nurse that has to work. But I'll go to work so I can go surfing on Friday, have a long weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, beauty. But um, it, it, does that respect the people who, as I said, lay down their lives for our nation, that, that has the families who have given up so much? Um, it, is that respectful of it? No, it's not. And Mr Albanese and Mr Keogh know this. And they haven't fixed it. Just like now, Mr Albanese knows about the teachers and staff for Palestinians. Now, it's, it's incumbent upon him to come out and say something about this. Just like, but Mr Albanese, he didn't even... The Minister for Veteran Affairs is not in the Cabinet. And as you know, as you know, Peter, if you're not in the Cabinet, you're just not in the room, are you? And things don't get heard. But this is, no. this is just a whole litany of things that they're doing, which uh, it's either uh, clumsy or it's actually purposeful that they're watering down the, the seminal day of the soul of our nation, which is Anzac Day. It, it really is. It doesn't matter what colour, what creed you are. If you live in this nation and benefit from the freedoms of this nation, then you better respect the people who fought and died or maimed or families got turned upside down for your right to do to live the life you live. Beautifully said, Barnaby. Thank you for your time.